I'm back here with a Z green uh, Super Mega Force Ranger and a black Mega Force Ranger. Oh, you got it. I got a question, Azim. Yeah. You just told me some information I did not know. You're into parkour. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Parkour, more with the parkour, not so much with the free running. Okay. Uh, you know, parkour is A to B, efficient and fast and awesome. Free running is, you add that little bit of flair. Why are you not auditioning to be the new Spider Man? <laughs> I don't know. Let's make this happen. Come on, guys. I, mean, I, I do actually think you'd be a pretty good Spider-Man, especially with all the parkour stuff. I'd love to be Spider-Man. That's Of all the superheroes, that's the one that I've always connected with. I got my, I got my thing down. I'm ready to go. We're going to get this uh, happening. And, uh, hashtag Azeem for Spider-Man. Hashtag Azeem for Spider-Man with the number four. We got it. Let's make this happen, you guys. Another question is, uh, so you just told me some interesting information that this is going to be one of your last conventions for the year. Uh, it's, yeah, yeah, I've got a, a few more Comic Cons coming up, but I'm going to start doing more martial arts cons. Um, not that I don't love Comic Cons, I've had a blast. <laughs> but the, at martial arts cons, I get to work with uh, students who are actually in their martial arts classes and kind of expand their knowledge of specific, well, not martial arts because I, I'm not a black belt in anything, but I get to expand their mind to new possibilities because a lot of them are interested in stage and film and TV and they learn all this amazing fighting and it's real fighting and I can show them how to use that and to create a story. That's interesting so did you did you pick up anything on this kind of the stage fights that you guys would do on the show? Oh absolutely I did stage fighting for four years before Power Rangers <clears throat> excuse me before Power Rangers and then once we were on the show um, they allowed me to do a lot of my own stunts in terms of the fighting and then once you know the mask comes on yeah, yeah. So wait, so they don't just hire actors anymore. They, you actually had like a background in martial arts. I did, yeah. I work at a place called Swordplay LA in Burbank. Really? Yeah, we do fencing and stage combat and children's entertainment. Really? Oh, yeah. We just performed at the Razzies. <laughs> what? Yeah. We did uh, spoofs of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, Transformers 4, <laughs> and... Um, the Legend of Hercules, the one with Kellen Lutz, not The Rock. Oh, that's awesome. It was fun. It was fun. All right, let's ask some random questions to you, Azim. Ready? Yeah. Favorite Ninja Turtle? Leonardo. Mine too, actually. That's 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 interesting. Favorite X-Men? Wolverine. But let me tell you, the reason is not because of the character himself. It's because when I was a kid, I used to have nightmares, and Wolverine was always the one who would save me from the villain in my nightmares. Really? And yet he would come in destroy the bad guy and look at me and go, God, you stink at this. Why do you keep needing me and then run away? So it really is like being Spider-Man. This is getting very Freudian right yeah. now. I feel like I'm, I'm opening up here. <laughs> Favorite uh, kids show growing up? Oh, Tom and Jerry. I really love, I don't know. I, I started to, near the end, I started to feel for Tom. You know, because you're like, God, that is natural selection. I mean, the cat should get the mouse. Eventually. Come on, he's got to eat. They never let the freaking cat eat. Favorite episode of your season of Power Rangers? Ooh, that's a tough one. It's a tie uh, between Love is in the Air and like The Grass that. is Always Bluer or Greener. Greener or Bluer. Yeah. That was a good yeah. one. Um, Favorite episode that wasn't your season? Ooh, I really liked the last episode of Time Force. Last episode of time, oh, but I also like the, the, the finale of Samurai. I don't know, that's hard, that, but I, between those two finales. Um, and I heard that you guys watched the, uh, the Sentai version of your show, yeah? Yeah, we watched a lot of it um, because a lot of times you go in on the day and they tell you, okay, so in this bit, this monster comes out and you guys say blah, 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 blah. And we go, well, why did we say blah, 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 blah? So we got to watch the footage to find out, you know, exactly what the monster looks like. Maybe we're making an appearance joke, right. or um, maybe he like does something funny with his arms, and we're like commenting on it. So we watch the footage to try and figure out what the monsters are. What was um, which one, which ranger did you like better? The counterpart, well, ranger Sentai version, the counterpart to the Mega Force, the counterpart to Super Mega Force. Which, oh, oh, of my, oh, um, you know. I actually didn't prefer one or the other, but it was it was interesting trying to combine their separate characters into one American character. 
because he gets significantly goofier when he's when he turns into the Green Ranger. So we kind of had to play this like I'm overwhelmed with so much new power. Now I'm just totally goofy <laughs> all the time and tripping and falling and I don't know. I have a, a fan question for you. Yeah. You want to check it out? All right, ch ch check out these headphones and I'll, and I'll hook you up here. Hey guys, uh, I'm Jason Ferguson, and my question is for all of you: In Super Mega Force, you had the ability to transform into previous Rangers. My question is: Have you had to be stuck as a legendary Ranger for the rest of your life? What Ranger would you be stuck as, and why? And it can be any Ranger, any color. Uh, so, uh, thank you for taking time for um, answering. So, bye. Question. Great question. Uh, so the question was, if I could, if I had to be stuck as any legendary ranger, which one would I be stuck as? Um, and I think I would probably have to. <laughs> guys, I'm gonna go corny here, but I'm sorry. I would have to be Zach. And um, I think we all know that that axe is sweet. And I get to be a mastodon. They're extinct. It's awesome. Any uh, any advice to the new Dino Charge cast? Well, first of all, I'd like to give a little shout out to Yoshi. What's up, man? Hope you're hope you're watching this. I know you're not though, because you're off shooting. But um, yeah, just you know, keep up the energy. Have fun, you guys. Come back, say hello. We'll all go out for dinner. Well, they will be watching it because Camille's going to be on our show pretty oh, soon. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay, good, good, good. Azim, thank you so much for your time, and don't forget hashtag Azim for Spider-Man. Let's make this happen, you guys.